Hello and here we are on day two of the Iron Age Diaries. Today we've had a class all day and this morning we got the class of about 16 kids to come and do jobs around the village just as children would have done two and a half thousand years ago. So we had them fetching wood, chopping wood, cooking lava bread, uh, using the cornstone to, to, get, to get flour to make bread. So here is one of our tables with all our props on. I'm going to show you here, we've got some uh, authentic bowls. We've got some dried berries because there would have been a lot of preserving done then because there's no fridges and freezers. We've got some roots here, oats, more dried berries. Now they would have had soft cheese um, in Iron Age Britain. They would have had butter. And here we have some bacon fat. We used that to cook the lava bread. We've got hazelnuts and dried mushrooms. Again, a lot of preserving would have been done to preserve the food in the winter months. So over here we've got the quernstone, which I want to show you. And we've been making our own flour. This quernstone is made from grit stone. So what it means is when they grind the flour, in the quernstone like this, put it in the middle and grind it round and you get the flour coming out. Because it's grit stone, you get tiny bits of stone in the teeth. And the archaeologists have found that in the Iron Age people's teeth are worn down at the back there with all the little bits of stone, which is why we don't let the kids eat the flour that we're using here. But the kids have been grinding this all day and then cut it, um, collecting it all up and popping it in the uh, pot here which uh, we would then make with bread at another time. So it's been really interactive, it's been a great day, and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, show you uh, some of the woodworking activities we've been doing with the children. So thanks for watching. <laughs>